Hello, it's been a while, but welcome back to my channel. And today, we're gonna to be looking at these guys, Origin Effects. Now, there are a couple of videos that exist on my channel already that go through my pedal board and go over my gigging rig. But honestly, I've been through a phase of extended exploration with different pedals that my pedal board now looks very different to what it did 18 months ago. But there was one brand that I've come across specifically over the past couple of years that I just felt like I had to do a video on because honestly, it's really changed the game for me and my rig. Now that brand is Origin Effects. Now this isn't a video that's gonna give you a really long in-depth history of Origin Effects and who they are, or even an in-depth review or demo of these individual pedals. What I wanna do is kind of give you my opinion and my broad perspective on these pedals and how I use them and how they've kind of changed the game for me. Now, I've been aware of Origin Effects for some time, but I didn't try them for the first time until March 2023 at the UK Guitar Show. I wasn't looking to make a major change to my rig. I was very happy with my amp I was running at the time, the Victory V40, and the main engine room of the gain stage of my pedal board was the Thorpey Effects, the Dane. You would never accuse that pedal of not sounding good or not sounding great. It's a phenomenal pedal. Again, it's a high-end, quite expensive pedal. It's a phenomenal sounding pedal. I honestly couldn't speak more highly of it. However, when I tried the RD Compact Hot Rod, it was just different. Not different necessarily better, but different that was more intriguing to me at the time. I was looking for a better, higher gain option in my rig, and this RD Compact Hot Rod is really inspired by Hot Rodded Marshalls. That's where the name comes from. Now you can run this pedal as either a preamp pedal or you can run it as more of a conventional guitar pedal, which is how I use it. And being a compact, it is a smaller format of a bigger version of this pedal. What I like about it though is that small format. It doesn't take up too much space on the board, but it still retains a lot of tonal flexibility. It isn't just a simple Marshall in a box pedal where it's got a few dials and hey presto, you've got a Marshall. You can dial this in in lots of different ways and get a lot more tonal possibilities than just that. But with this pedal, there was no way that this was gonna work alongside the Dane, so I kinda made the decision that I was gonna swap this in for it. It doesn't just sound phenomenal, the responsiveness to your touch of your playing is unlike anything I've played before. And again, for anyone who knows Origin Effects, you'll know that they are built like mini tanks. They feel superbly put together, and it's not just that they feel reassuringly weighty. The way the knobs turn and the switches, it's all just yummy, high-end, expensive pedalness. Now the hot rod has become kind of the beating heart of the gain stage of my rig. But when I made the decision to change the Dane with the hot rod, I'd kind of lost the clean boost in my pedal board. Now a clean boost for me isn't just about boosting in for a solo or making your signal louder, which is what they can obviously do. I've traditionally run clean boosters always on pedals for cleaner bass tones or to stack into a drive pedal to get more drive and to get more saturation. 
And this is where the DCX Boost comes in. Now, this was a pedal that I didn't try until March this year. What I loved about the DCX Boost or what drew me to this initially were certain features that it's got that I think are really important to highlight. It's got an EQ mode or an OD mode. EQ mode is more of a conventional clean boost. OD mode has got more gain on tap. So you could run it as a low gain pedal in your rig if you wanted to. It's got dark, medium and flat voicings for different guitars or different amplifiers, depending on what their tonal characteristics are like. And like the hot rod, it's got kind of low frequency, high frequency tonal options meaning that you can dial in your low end and your high end just as you see fit. Pedal. Now, going from a dual pedal to two separate pedals does take up a bit more weight and a bit more space on the board, but it does give you the flexibility to either run one into the other or vice versa, which I couldn't do before. Also, the DCX Boost has more features on it than the Boost side of the Dane, and the Hot Rod has more tonal possibilities than the Gain side. So, all in all, I was gaining flexibility. This was particularly important when I decided to change my amplifier. So I went from a clean pedal platform amplifier in the Victory V40 to the Friedman Pink Taco V1. That is a amp with more gain on tap and I do run it with a bit more gain than I did my Victory. But having these new pedals from Origin FX with the extra tonal capabilities and the ability to stack them differently just gave me more options when I was using a new amp. Now I want to reiterate, Origin FX are a pedal brand that aren't going to be accessible for everyone. I understand that. They are expensive, they're as boutique as it gets. However, once you've tried them or once I tried them for the first time, I just couldn't look past them. I just got that itch where it was, these are so good that I just have to have that at some point in my rig. I have to try it, I have to live with it. And they have been a game changer for me. Now, never say never. I'm not gonna sit here and say they'll be on my board forever, but honestly, I can't look past them right now. Now, perhaps their most famous pedal is the Cali 76 compressor that they've got. Now, that's a great pedal if you're looking for a compressor. It's very friendly for guitar players. The new Halcyon line, the Gold and the Tube Screamer, again, I tried that at the UK Guitar Show as well. Again, if you're in the market for a very specific Tube Screamer or Clon type pedal, I strongly recommend you check out that line. So that is my take on Origin FX, my take on a pedal brand that kind of changed everything for me in my rig recently. Thank you for returning to my channel. I know I haven't posted in some time. There's been a lot going on this year, but I hope to ramp up the content moving forward. So please like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you later.
Thank you.